First off, let's take a look at this week's winners and downers. Sadly, there have been more downers than winners in the past week. Una sa lahat, a major downer, was the denial of ABS-CBN's franchise renewal in Congress. It is a fact that because of this, mawawala ng access to information and entertainment ang napakaraming Pilipino across the country. After a grueling two months, we've seen the heartbreak not just of the network bosses, but more so of our Capamilia stars who went to the streets to rally and to their social media accounts to plead and rant and finally feel the shock of what happened. A whole nation and Filipinos all over the world share in their grief. Meanwhile, in Hollywood, Johnny Depp's legal battle against a British tabloid has also been the cause of media attention. Depp is suing The Sun for libel after saying he was a violent husband to ex-wife Amber Heard. The hearings have been going on for days now and definitely getting more intense. Depp was first to explain his side in the case, and while confirming that their marriage could not have been saved, he continues to deny ever hurting Amber. A downer again. But in order to end this segment with a winner, we rejoice with Brooklyn Beckham, son of Posh and Bex, as he announced on social media he's engaged to actress Nicola Peltz. The 21-year-old model wrote on his Instagram account, I am the luckiest man in the world. I promise to be the best husband and the best daddy one day. With that sole winner on our list this week, let's hope things will look up for everyone soon, everywhere. That's it for Winners and Downers. We'll be right back. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more episodes of the Manila Times CSI. See you!